Hey everyone, I'm back and this is our pattern that we're going to be reviewing tonight. I made this pattern and as you can see it is a top with a flare sleeve. It has a little gather in the front. It has a you know, what you might call a well, peplum or you know it has a bodice piece and you know it sort of flatters the figure. They have different views where you can make it with the sleeve, the flare sleeve, or you could make it without the sleeve. And then there's a little surprise that goes with it. So this is New Look pattern number R10535. And this pattern actually goes from size 10 up to a size 22. So um, it fits, it can uh, be made for many sizes. Okay, usually the patterns tell you, give you an idea of what to um, expect, what your yardage is, and you pick your size and you pick your yardage here according to which view you want. And then, you know, you get your information on how to size. So you might want to, um, you might want to measure bust, waist, and hips and choose the size that's the large, for the largest part of your body, of your measurements. And then you can adjust the rest to fit. Also, they have both the um, US sizes, 10, 12, 14, all, and so on, up to 22. And then they have the European sizes, 36, 38, 40, all the way up to 48. And um, the patterns usually give you um, directions on what type of suggested fabrics. So this is a chambray, charmeau, chiffon, um, cotton lawn, cotton types, crepe. Crepe would be beautiful in this. Crepe de chine, double georgette, which is almost like a little knit. Um, yeah, and linens definitely would be perfect for this. So let's see. Um, for top B, you would need a 22 inch zipper, but for top A, you just need a button and a seven inch invisible uh, zipper. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see the finished product and um, you can see how it came out when I made it. So let's go. And here we are, another creation. And it has your flared sleeves. You have your fit figure, um, flattering shaped um, peplum. And um, there is a little surprise. There is a little surprise. So let's see. Let's see if we can make it do what it do. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm almost ready for this. So this is what I'm going to do. Hold on. I know you're waiting. So, the even cuter part about this is, it's open in the back. Ha! Huh, bet you didn't see that coming. Isn't that cute? So, if you don't want your back out, you could simply wear a nice lace uh, something underneath. But if you don't mind your back being out, yes, it has one button at the neck. Let's see if we can get a close up. 
Yes. So you can make this in a print like I have, or you can have it made in a solid color. It all depends on what your choice is. And of course, you can make it in a fabric that's a little more silky and sulky than this one is, but you know, I'm into my African prints. And so I chose to make it out of this one. And again, you could wear it with pants or you can wear it with a skirt. Fabulous. Don't you just love it? I do. Check out the pattern information below. And if you like this video and you enjoy my Friday fashion, Fashion Fridays live, please go ahead, subscribe, invite some friends, like it, share it out because I have something new every week. And guys, don't stop coming because I promise you I have something for you too. Thank you for coming. See you in the next Fashion Friday.